Welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews, guys. Well, I have an exciting announcement for all you Gear S3 users out there. Samsung has just started rolling out an update that has a bunch of new features and functionality, plus, of course, updating to the newest Tizen software version, 4.002. Now, why is this update significant? Well, I'm going to go over some of the features that are included in this update just to give you an idea of what you're getting in this 300 megabyte file but the main significance is that you now have the same software as the new Galaxy Watch, which is a great update to have, particularly for those that didn't see any benefit or want to shell out the premium price for those features that are included in the Galaxy Watch. Okay, so before I get started and jump right in here, if you've not received a notification or prompt to update to the latest software, then you can always do a manual check and update very easily. You just need to go to your about gear section, tap on update software, and then tap on download updates manually. If there is in fact an update, then you can start to download it right away. Now, as far as I've seen online, the updates have only started rolling out in Canada and the US, and this is actually pretty typical of previous updates Samsung has done. So if you live outside of these countries, then don't stress over it too much because they should be rolling it out to other regions within the next couple of weeks. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed the software, which approximately takes about 10 to 15 minutes from start to finish, your S3 will restart and you can check out all the new features that were added. Now I'm gonna go over a few of the different areas that received an update, but there are some that I haven't had a chance to try, particularly of course the sleep modes, because again, I literally just installed the software about an hour or so ago, and I really wanted to get the word out to you guys about this update. Anyways, let's get started with some of the features that have been added. All right, the first couple of updates all revolve around your fitness as well as your health. Now in terms of fitness enhancements, the new update now supports various indoor workouts as well as giving you the ability to set multiple workouts of when they can be run back to back against each other, which again is a great feature for those fitness lovers out there and especially if you love CrossFit training. Now to be honest, I haven't used my S3 for working out in at least a year or more, so I can't tell you specifically which indoor workouts are now supported with this update, but if you do use your watch regularly for exercises, then perhaps you can let me know in the comments below. Now the other health related piece that was updated revolves around the Samsung Health widget as it now provides sleep stages of information. And unfortunately I can't show you guys much data of this feature right now as I haven't had a chance to sleep yet since the update and <laughs> to be honest I don't usually track my sleep patterns but if you do then these enhancements may be of interest to you. However for the sake of science I will give this added feature a test by wearing my watch tonight and I can provide you guys with updates either in the comments comments later or in a future video. Okay, the next update, and which also has a component related to sleep, are two advanced modes that have been added in settings and under the advanced section. The two pieces are called the theater and sleep, or what they're calling it, goodnight mode, and both of these can also be toggled from the quick panel. And the purpose of these modes is to keep your watch silent so it doesn't disrupt you, whether it be during the day or while you're sleeping. And it does this by muting all your alerts and system sounds, except of course for any future alarms that you've already set, as those are still gonna remain active and enabled. Okay, the next updates involve your quick panel as well as your settings menu. Now first, new quick settings have been enabled to make it, and I quote, easier and faster interactions. And to add your own settings, it's actually very easy to do so, is you just need to press down on the display screen in the quick panel area, and that's gonna allow you to toggle the edit mode whereby you can add or remove any quick settings. And the other update relates to the settings menu, and here's where some improvements have been made in the menu categories so that the related features and those functions are all grouped together to improve the user experience for finding those relevant items that you're looking for. Okay, the next item relates to messages and your ability to now save draft messages as well as improvements to automatically playing animated images. 
there's quicker and easier interactions for replying to messages, as well as the ability to now select from over 1,000 emojis to add to your messages. All right, the next update is really a simple one as you now have the ability to change to a different music play source on the watch without having to use your phone. Okay, and the last item involves your experience while making a phone call. And although I haven't had a chance to test this feature out, this update now enables you to change to a different screen, use different features, and even open up other apps all while you're still on a call with someone, which is a detailed way of basically saying that you now have the ability to multitask on your device while you're speaking to someone, which is again kind of to provide the same kind of user experience that you currently enjoy while making calls from your smartphone. Okay guys, that's just a quick recap of the enhancements that have been rolled out in this newest software update. Let me know what you guys think about it and if any of these are going to benefit you personally. I'm also going to be monitoring my S3 over the coming days to see if there's any improvement in the battery life. I know it wasn't specifically mentioned in this current update, but I'm still holding out hope that we may see a performance boost here, so keep me updated on your experience as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then you know what, show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.